if you come to this program, you're going to develop. Uh, that's our model. Our model is development first. Uh, after development, you'll see the progress of your game on the court. You know, we started off with two teams. Now we got teams from grade six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we might be doubling up at that grade nine, ten, eleven, and twelve age group just off of the contacts that we're getting and people saying they want to be a part of a program. As long as our coaching staff is always strong-minded and we have the willpower to always do that, you know, I don't see any other organization competing with us. Candidly started uh, with the two organizations, uh, Triple Balance and Yace, uh, merged together to make a big organization on the guy's side first. Then after we brought it to my attention that, you know, the girls want, need an opportunity also to play basketball. In our first year, you know, we started off with our trial. I remember only having three girls. And now we're holding trials. We're holding like 120, 130 girls in the gym. The fact that the girls could see you do the drill and not just hear you say the drill, means a lot. You know, it could show the girls that, like, listen, I'm not no joke when it comes to these drills. I could do this. I've been doing this. My coaching style I bring to the table is, you know, just change the game. Make the girls not be robotic. Make the girls know how to play and read and react situations. Nikki Y, I love her. I love Nikki Y, one of those hard competitors. She makes sure that the offense is running smoothly. You know, one thing I see Nikki Y play, top competition, top cards, picking their pocket, getting to the basket, being creative, expanding her mindset. That's a girl that's gonna come into your program. She's gonna work hard for you. She's gonna get the job done. So I use a lot of my speed and a lot of my vision, my court vision. I like to shoot from beyond the arc, but and I think that I have to focus more on driving to the basket and taking in the contact. Elisa is a really hard working girl and she's like one of the most improved. Starting off, she started off with Canada Elite, she was playing on our second team. She understood that it's a grind and she put in the work like over the summers and you could see that she was getting better and better. There are some times where I seen Jaleesa on like one defensive rotation to the next defensive rotation, helping someone else's a mistake and getting the steal right after and then pushing on transition and getting the fast break layup. Usually I like to get a lot of steals and then hedge the ball up to people or little jump shots around the key, like mid-range shots. Defense is really important because defense wins games at the end of the day and you have to know how to dig deep at the end when you're losing it. My favorite saying for Rachel Niles is heart over height. <laughs> you know, standing at like 5'2", you know, like her change of speed, how quick she could shift the ball from left to right. Like, you know, every coach that talks about her talks about they love her competitive, her competitive spirit, how she just gets there. Like you can't read what her emotion is on her face. That's something that a lot of people need to like kind of like change in their game. I feel I have a good court vision. Um, I can finish in the paint. I feel something I need to improve on is communication. I hustle every play and I'm, o I'm always trying to talk, like be a point guard leader. Jada's game is gonna be off the charts. Uh, off of her athleticism alone, she averaged at least like six blocks a game. Girls, she's a big rim protector. Just the time frame that she has and just playing basketball and everything like that also, it's gonna be amazing to see where she's gonna end up. And when she's polished off all her skill set, you know, she's gonna be one of those girls you're gonna look at and say, I don't wanna go against her. <laughs> I'm a very gritty player who doesn't like to stay still. I definitely think my strengths are in transition and just like getting wide and getting open looks. And I think I need to work on my dribbling and hand, like handling, just like my 10 foot jumpers and stuff. Janika, I personally think with Janika, she go pro. Her change of speed is amazing. You know, she's a girl that in the girls' basketball game, it's really hard to find girls that could come off the dribble and pull up. And the thing about it is that She's a pass first player. She's always looking to get her teammates involved before herself. For her, the sky's the limit. As long as she keeps putting in the work also, you know, she's gonna get better and better. Some of my strengths, I can shoot the ball. I'm gonna develop driving, because I can drive and I can score at the basket. My ball handling is pretty good, but um, I try and improve like, just sometimes I go outside and dribble. Uh, use a tennis ball dribble, like go to an open gym, also with Coach Kip. Girls that come here, they play good basketball, they get better, they're learning the game and 
you know, they're receiving like letters of interest left, right and center and offers. Um, education is always first. It always goes books before ball. If I didn't have basketball, like I wouldn't be anywhere without education. I need education to get where I'm going for basketball. And I just make sure that when we get spare time in class, I finish my homework before practice. Like without education, basketball is nothing. Like. If I don't have grades, then I won't be able to succeed. Our main goal is to make sure that the girls get a free education, you know, and we'll do whatever it takes to make sure we put them in that situation. You got 25 push-ups. You guys lost, come on. Nikki won, you're good. Let's go, knock it in. 20. If you're outside a little bit more, it's up here. Right is here, hard over top, left, right, finish. All right, for you guys, it's basketball and books books and basketball.